Hi, I'm David and welcome to 3D Make It. Today on 3D Make It, we're going to be building the Mamarubot SX4 3D printer. But before we get into the build, let's talk about stats. This printer has a huge 400 by 400 print bed. It has Core XY kinematics. It also has a heated bed via an SSR and main power. Two meanwhile power supplies, a 400 watt and a 100 watt. A BL Touch auto bed leveling system and an all metal hot end. So the other day I had Greg from 3D Make It as well come over and we built this beast in less than an hour. Let's check out the time lapse. So there you have it. The build took, like I said, about an hour. It was really easy to build. It was no harder than the Ender 3. The construction went quickly. The parts fit together well. They really did some good thinking when they made this printer. The one thing it does lack is covers on the uh, 2020 extrusion. So no problem. They send you the STL. You can print the covers if it really bothers you. For me, I don't care. I can get the scratch here and there, but I really doubt I'm going to get hurt. First things first, let's talk about hot ends. The hot end on this machine is a direct drive extruded hot end, and it goes through a small Bowden tube. One of the problems on this system, though, is where the filament enters the top Bowden tube, it flexes. So when you're loading filament, you have to be creative and bend the filament forward just a bit to get it to go into the Bowden tube. The other trick to this machine is although it's advertised as a full metal hot end, there is PEFT tube line down right to the break of the hot end. So where the hot zone is, there is no Teflon tube, but there's still the chance of heat creep. And if you wanted to do more uh, high end temperature filaments, you'd want to definitely look at an all metal hot end for this. Another strange thing they've done is actually put the control panel and hung it off the back of the printer but facing you. So it's right in the print zone while you're trying to print. It doesn't get bumped. It's not that bad. You can actually take it off and just set it beside because it's a detachable faceplate. But nonetheless, it's still kind of weird and worth noting. So let's see what's inside that control box. If we look at this picture, we can see that to the left is the larger of the two meanwhile power supplies. This power supply is the 400 watt. The little silver box to the right is the 100 watt. What happens is the little one works as a switch to turn the SSR on or off and basically turns the main powers on to the heated bed. So that SSR in the top right hand corner is why my bed can go so hot so fast being so big. 
In the bottom right hand corner, that's the control board. So it's a basic ramps board that controls all the steppers and the printer motions. And it's quite standard in most printers to see a rounds board like that. It's just a normal board. It's not 32 bit or anything fancy, but it is the larger size. So I'm sure most of you are thinking, well, it's built great. It has features. Awesome. But does it print? Check out these time lapses from my first prints. There you have it. It prints and it prints perfectly. I had to tighten the belts a little bit out of a factory to get the extruder and the hot end moving just nicely so it would lay down even layers. This printer is amazing. For the price, $1,000 Canadian, you can't go wrong. The print bed being Core XY moves up and down instead of, like other printers, the CR10 or the Ender 3 series, where it rocks forward and back. This means that you can do things super, super fine detail without having to worry about rocking it off the build plate. Lithophanes come to mind. I'm happy to have bought this. I would thoroughly recommend it to anyone. The one thing I would say, if you're a beginner, this might not be your printer because Core XY can be a bit tricky if it doesn't go right. If you're looking for your first printer, probably start at the Ender 3 level and move up into something like this. This is an amazing printer. I look forward to printing on it. Thank you, Derek and the guys at Spool 3D in Calgary for giving me this printer at a great deal. I love their stuff, filament, parts, whatever. You can get it from them. Um, Thanks again. You guys have been awesome if you've made it this far. And again, hit that subscribe button if you want to keep following us. And thank you for the love. Have a good one.